Now let's move on to the 70th question and again this is J 2017 and video solutions and of a code D. So now we are going to discuss this. This is from the section on biomolecules, uh, specifically carbohydrates. You already know that reducing sugars, they are the ones which have a hemiacetal linkage. Now there is one more clue in this particular question. So hemiacetal, that means it should contain something like a, a, like one OH, um, like you have CH2OH and there should be one OH that could be generated over here, right? So normally that this OH could be generated when you have an ester that hydrolyzes to give you an alcohol. So this this could be one important clue in this solution. So let's have a look. So you have OH, there is, there is no ester group over here. Again the same thing, ethers do not react with KOH basically. And of course if you see here, this is also an ether. So I'm, ju I'm just going to take this particular option number 4 and try to figure out if things work well in this case, right? So now what exactly would happen over here? First when this is treated with KOH, it would undergo hydrolysis and you would be getting something different. Right? So you would be getting something like CH2OH here and then this is nothing but OH and then you would be getting, so the bond would break like this and then you see a KOH it would be K plus OH minus, right? Um, so it is going to be something like, uh, I mean you would be getting hydrolysis of ester, right? So actually it breaks like this and then you would be having uh, CH3COOH and K here. So this is basically hydrolysis, right? Now let's discuss question number 70, which is from the section on carbohydrates. Uh, so specifically biomolecules. So if you could see series of furanose and pyranose structures are given to you and they are asking which compound would behave like a reducing sugar. So reducing sugar is basically something like a hemiacetal. Okay, half acetal, that's what you would call, right? And that is normally, that normally happens when you have a carbonyl group reacting to an alcohol, right? So it is something like HOR and then you have HOH, right? So water molecule is eliminated and that's how you get a hemiacetal, right? OR and then you would be having something like OH, correct? So it's pretty much simple to understand. So just imagine if this undergoes hydrolysis, what would happen? Hydrolysis in presence of KOH. So the bond would break. Here and then you would be getting something like OH over here. Okay, so you would have something like OH here, there is an OH down over here, and then there is an OH over here, correct? And there is a CH2 over here, CH2 OH over here, and there is an OH over here, and there would be something like CH3COO. Correct? Potassium salt of carboxylic acid, very very simple thing. So if you could see this is nothing but a hemiacetal, right? So hemiacetal, so if you could see this, how exactly it is a hemiacetal, if you could see here, there is an OH group over here and there is an OR group over here, right? So this hemiacetal will make it something like a reducing sugar, how exactly it could be possible, right? Let's say if this bond breaks and then if this trans hydrogen transfers over here, you could get something like a carbonyl group over here, right? So most important thing in this particular question is the use of aqueous KOH. So normally as aqueous KOH, aqueous KOH is used to have a, like cleavage of an ester. So ester uh, would hydrolyze to give corresponding alcohol and carboxylic acid. So when we are talking about hemiacetal, what comes to your mind is OH group. So this could be one important clue for this particular uh, question that KOH may be something interlinked to the ester functional group. Uh, which is nothing but CH3COO and this particular thing. So uh, the correct answer for this particular question is option 4. So option 4 is the correct answer for this particular question. I hope you have enjoyed learning this particular, uh, this video lectures and video solutions. So for more updates, please like, subscribe or comment.